that's me, Rama, and this is, <laughs> I was just looking at the navigation system, this is um, my video on saving and loading AI units. So I've made a little setup where if I spawn them, they'll just kind of wander around. Uh, it's not a complicated setup. I'll show you how it works. Over in the character, in the player character, I start a timer and begin play for one second. You don't really need this. So I start a timer after one second after the game starts and then I run this event. Now this event doesn't run if there's if the player state is valid because that means that you have a human player so you don't want to try to manipulate them. This is the easiest way I know of to check if a unit is controlled by a human or not. And then you can get the actor location, get a random point in navigable radius, get the controller simple move to location, and then I set the, a random range to run the AI timer again to make sure it's varied. They don't always, so it's random in radius and it's random in interval as well. And then all I'm doing is I'm spawning the unit over here on the K key and here's how I'm getting the center of the screen and then projecting forward. Alright, so then I press K and then I get three of these. Now if I save and then load, nothing's gonna happen because these AI units don't have Rama save components, so let's give them one. I had removed this from my previous video. Add component, type in Rama, and you'll see Rama save. That's all you gotta do is add it and then I take care of the rest in terms of basic AI setup for saving and loading. Let's prove it. One, two, three. Let's create three of them. And I'd like you to try to memorize their positions when I say, um, now. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, now. So memorize their positions, okay? And then they're gonna wander around. They're gonna do what AI bots do. Now they're in different positions, right? Ready? One, two, three, load! Everybody's there, right? I've just reloaded the all the AI units and the player character. Let's add a fourth one. And then I want you to memorize the state when I say now, their locations. So we have four to keep track of in our screen now. I don't know if I can get them all on my screen. Okay, ready? One, two, three, now! Now I'm going to load. Ready, one, two, three, go! Now notice because I'm randomly picking which way they go, he didn't go forward that time, but if you had an AI system where you had like a set of paths laid out, then you could absolutely um, have them follow the same path. You'd have to save that data uh, to disk, but I can give you the ability to save that data very easily as you've seen in my earlier demonstrations. Let's do one more. One, two, three, now! And let's actually exit the game. I'm not going to close the editor this time, but let's relaunch. You can pretend I closed the editor. And let's reload the game state from hard disk for a single player or multiplayer game as if you got distracted or busy and want to play again. Ready? Go! There they are! Just reloaded the entire game state. And yes, it does work in multiplayer with AI units involved too. Okay, let's get some multiplayer AI action going on here. So there's the human player. Now let's spawn three bots. So we have three bots and two players. So server player is going to stand over here. The client is going to look at the server from the opposite corner over here. Right? They're going to like hang out, stare at each other, and then we have these bots running around. Okay, they're ready to save the world state? He's not. He went off. He's invisible now. Come back, dude. Man, he's ruining my shot. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh well, let's just do it. Ready? One, two, three, now! Okay, and, and the server was jumping in the air. Let's move the client. Client's going to go do something else. Let's move the server somewhere else. And now let's pretend that we... Well, let's do it. Let's quit the game. Let's relaunch the game. You still, let's say you reconnected with your friend over the internet, and now you want to play again, but it's like, hey, can we resume from where we left off? Well, with the Rama save system, you can. Ready? Load! So now we have the, the server players over here, clients over there. Client can still control. 
server still looking here? Everything reloaded. Let's do one more with client and server next to each other, and let's see if we can get the all three AI units in vision. Alright, ready? One, two, three, go! And now, I'm going to hang out over here. Client's going to go over here, and in fact, we're actually going to exit the game. We're going to reload the game. You could pretend that the client, you and your friend, reconnected over the game, over the internet, over Steam, or whatever. And now you're ready to resume. Let's load the game state. Load! AI units are here, and client and server are next to each other, and I can still control them. And that is an introduction to what you can do with my Rama save system. This is a plugin that you can use in any project you want. Enjoy!